It looks like the GameStop phenomenon has hit a wall. The stock plunged 60% at Tuesday's closing bell. And that's after days of decline from last week's $470 high. This whole thing started when Reddit bros banded together to pump money into shares of the gaming store. It was a nightmare for hedge fund bros, but it was a great, great news story for any number of smaller investors who made a little bit of cash. One of the smallest investors was 10-year-old Jaden Carr. He invested in GameStop back in 2019 before Redditors bumped up the share. When the stock price when the stock market was on fire, Jaden cashed out his $60 investment for 3,200 bucks. I'm impressed. Joining us now is Jaden and his mom, Nina. Jaden, I, I, I just want to say, as someone who doesn't fully understand the stock market like at all, like I watch Billions and I have no idea what's happening. I have no idea what their job is. Um, last week was confusing. So I am very impressed that you at 10 years old know clearly more than I do. Um, how are you only 10 and know how to invest in the stock market? How did that happen? Well, my mom had been basically teaching me as the years have gone on. So, yes. So, you're, you learn from your mom. How did she teach you? Did she, you know, teach you what the symbols mean? Do you watch CNBC? How did you learn about the stock market from your mom? Uh, she would give me like these super uh, cool yet interesting lessons. Uh, so yeah, she would give me like these uh, cool lessons and I just keep on and I just hold on with the knowledge. Nina, what, what's a cool lesson about the stock market? What does that look like? Maybe I need to try. Uh, well, you have to kind of turn it into a game. And for him, because he's a gamer, I had to make it fun. That That's his, uh, uh, that's his way of learning. It has to be fun. So um, I just took things like vocabulary and symbols and, and made it fun for him. And that's how he, that's how he grabs onto it. Why did you think it was so important to teach him about investing? Well, it didn't start with investing. It started with, you know, just learning how to manage his um, his money, uh, his bank account, savings. Uh, I even went into loans and credit a little bit. But um, investing was important at that time because of Kwanzaa. Um, we were we were doing Kwanzaa in December of 2019. So that was my way of merging uh, his interest of video games with uh, our cooperative economics uh, principle uh, for Kwanzaa. I love that. We should put moms in charge of more things. The creativity that moms um, can, can, can utilize to educate their kids about all kinds of things, we probably could use that in the world. Um, so tell us a little bit about uh, the day Jaden decided to sell his shares, because we were all watching what was happening with Reddit and GameStop last week, sort of like, you know, scratching our heads um, and sort of in awe by it all. But talk about uh, the day you decided to, to sell the shares for, for all that money. Um, so I was in class and she was at work. And like my class was just, just about to end. All of a sudden, like she comes in the door and she's like, I need to tell you something. I'm like, okay, yeah, what is it? And she's like, uh, and then she brings me in her room. She's like, look at this. I'm like, what? And she's like, and and then she was explaining to me, like, she was stuttering and everything. Like, look, this doesn't happen very often. And, and the price is going up and down and up and down everywhere. It's so funny. It's like, can you imagine you just, you, you do $60 and then one day, Reddit bros, you know, make you 3,000 bucks because your investment jumped 5,000%. Like, it, you know, you have a bunch of money now. What are you going to do with your money? Uh, I am going to save around 2,200 of it. And the other 1,000 is going to go to investing in more companies like Roblox, Microsoft, and dividend companies. But other than that, I'm still doing some research. That sounds really good. In terms of just your day-to-day -day life right now, I mean, we're all living through uh, a once-in-a-lifetime pandemic. 
Um, Jaden, what is that like for you? Do you find creative ways to learn more things with your mom like you've done here with the stock market? Um, you know, what types of things do you do at home to sort of make sure you're continuing to learn new things um, in a creative way when you can't be in the classroom? Um, I do science, I play games. Sometimes uh, my mom will like give me this cool lesson and so, most, mostly I'm just hanging out. Nice, <laughs> hanging out. Um, in terms of the next game stock, I mean, can you give me any stock tips? Is that allowed or is that insider trading? I guess not, I mean, it, you're 10, so I don't, I feel like there's no statute on point. Can you can you give me like a tip? What should I invest in? Roblox. <laughs> I love it. That's so good. Jaden and Nina, thank you so much for being here. And I, I love this story. I love um, the fact that you're utilizing creative means to teach uh, your son about the stock market. I think more parents should should find make it a game. Make it a game. Hi, I'm Zerlina Maxwell. Thanks for checking out our channel on YouTube. You can see more from Zerlina by clicking any of the videos on this screen and make sure you subscribe below to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. Thanks for watching.